He's silly. Could you tell me if this is the home of John Doolittle, the eminent physician? Oh, you were walking out because you knew we'd nailed it. I yeah. thought you were walking out because we'd blown it. Nope. You gotta learn to read by glares better than that. Cut there, guys. <laughs> what happened to my six foot long arms when I need them? These trees, there's a stand of trees foreground. And you just like the castle slowly comes from the trees, and it's Do you like want the carriage in there. It's it's it would be awesome to have the carriage going down the path. Uh, 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 out the way, boys! Here you are. Careful! Oh, goodness! Trot on. Sorry. <laughs> Cracking myself up. We're not listening. Someone is poisoning the Queen. Hmm? And every one of us is now in danger. Does I should rather than be in better states pretended that you belong? <laughs> I could belong. Mm. I was helpful in there, wasn't mm. I? Mm. If she has not received the antidote by then, she will perish. What did they offer you, Moodfly? To murder the Queen of England? Oh, quite a few things, actually. Huh. Knighthood, Winwood House, Chair of the Royal College, in no particular order. Please, we take one. Three. Three. Action. Action. Yes. What? <laughs> Checking! Yes, sir. And then I think we also need an additional plate to see, probably to see Clyde coming this way when he's got the watch, you know? Like, probably we'll need some kind of plate for him. Ken? Sorry, you know what I mean? Don't do this in home. <laughs> it's a little bit character, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely unpredictable. Yeah. And I love characters that are pretty too because you, in reality, can do anything.
in the eye. Yeah. Uh, now you can cut. <laughs> and how they got their name, I will never know. Seriously, I'm lost. Banana makes perfect sense. But orange, mental. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weirdly funny. So like, it's so, people will be so like, odd. "Who is this character?" It's like, it's like it's great. It's so weird. But this, that's by the way, that's how I think dogs think in a way. Yeah, they're, they're so sort like, of schizophrenic with what's going on. Doolittle took us all in. He gave us a place to be ourselves. Doolittle. I, I'm mostly chill about everything, but you know who that is up there. And you know what day it is. Uh, okay. Um, no, uh, there's been some confusion. We're the good guys. I don't think they can understand me. Could you tell them? Hey, um, John, could you tell them we're the good guys? Just go ahead and tell them we're the good guys. They can't understand me. We're the good guys! They, no. No recognition in their eyes. Okay. Oh, they were tasty, Doolittle. Oh, don't human me. That's a lost little boy who found you, and frankly, it's a lost little man he found. All in good time, Polly. For a brave man, you are a bit of a chicken. I'm not worried. I'm just saying, just saying, it's there. <laughs> There's only one person who's amazing enough to understand ducks, and that would be the great Dr. Doolittle. My name's Dab Dab. What's your name? I mean, everybody knows me as Dab Dab. So I want to know your name because I understand that you understand that I understand. I mean, I, well, I, I do understand, but I, I, what's your name? 